Welcome back to the channel, folks. We got some more LA Noir today. We're gonna continue on with our playthrough. We are on the traffic desk right now with our good partner Stefan Bukowski. And I think the next case that we've got is called a marriage made in heaven. So let's jump to it. Well look at that, I was correct. Nice little hit and run to get the day going, or the night going. Don't really know what time of the day that's from. All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. Guy gave his wife a tap. I said all fair. All right, let's go. I've been in this job 20 years. I never thought Mouthpiece store strips off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now the DA wants. Love the ambiance of this game. Seems like a nice boy. Putting all the people in jail. I don't want to be rude, but I ain't got time for talking. Is it night? Is it morning? It's early or late. Don't know. You can drive. Have at it, Stefan Bukowski. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes convictions. I'll convince him to let it go. How do you do that? I'll give him something better. I also like the little return conversations to past cases. It's a nice touch. Detectives, over here. No. Oh, Phelps, traffic. Huh. Never would have guessed. Got? Thick as a white male, name of Lester Patterson. Walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there, and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, name of Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now we're going to take a look around. Guess we start with him. You should take a look at the body. Or no. Stand a chance. Landed on his face and ended up here. Car must have struck him from behind. No, I don't. I don't want to look at his face. I want his pockets. Show me the man's pockets. New plan secures your beneficiaries a sum of $16,000. Hmm. Interesting. What about his other pocket? And there's a wallet. We can notify next of kin. Pick up a finder's fee while we're at it. Just kidding. We're not going to steal from this dead guy. On an active crime scene. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Careful where you step in, Phelps. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. Body traveled to You could, though. Feet. Like, if you really wanted to, you could. You putting down the evidence marker for the body, I guess? Find anything interesting? 
Some tire marks. So the driver managed to brake before the impact. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. All right, what do we got so far? Let's see. I think it about sums it up. Said he was looking for something stabbed him in the chest. Well, would you look you there? Knife covered in blood. Stab right. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. I don't know, a knife covered in blood 20 or so feet from there doesn't look promising. It's all yours, Detective. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I uh, came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. She's not lying. What happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Definitely not lying there either. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three, C, eight. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. She sounded a little unsure. She's looking around. I don't think she's lying, but we're going to doubt it. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress and things look pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Mr. Three of three. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. Get the bartender. I want the newspaper. Show me something about Harlan Fontaine. Courtney. Come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, um, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. If we can reveal the root of the problem, then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. It's an interesting way to put it. 
Till next time, Harlan Fontaine. Let's talk to this fellow. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Looking a little shifty. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Esther and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. A witness overheard an argument. <laughs> Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy? Leroy Sabo, the owner. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Who knows? I just served the drinks. No. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You Joint business the venture. They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Joint business venture between the wife and the bar owner. A life insurance policy worth 16 grand. Interesting stuff. Come on, you could tell me. Try and pick up that license plate though. All these people are vultures, officer. But you can tell me what's Phelps going badge, on. 1247. Detective. I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, Detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks, ma'am. Looks like we caught a break on this one. Maybe. You don't seem to be standing around. Shouldn't you be working? Probably, but I'm gonna drive around before we do any sort of work. Let's go to the Shelton residence first. Let's see if we can't get up to some street crime cases. It's a lucky break getting the partial ID. These cases are usually dead in the water after 24 hours if no one comes forward. Why don't they just stop? You heard about fight or flight during the war? Sure. Never back your enemy into a corner. That kind of stuff. Right. Well, in a hit and run, the perp is already in flight. It's easier Made to it. Going. it. Takes a degree of moral courage to stop and accept responsibility. You're not as dumb as you make yourself out to be, are you, Steve? I didn't know I was making myself out to be. We'll just drive through the bushes, real casual. 4.42 a.m. It is about morning. I think morning doesn't come around until after 5 a.m. I think that's fair. See, now it's actually morning. It's no longer night. Son of a bitch. 
bitch right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. That coward thinks he can run from everything. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. How do you think I'm going to do that if I haven't even caught him? Think about that, Stefan Bukowski. Why don't you shoot out his wheels? Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Well, maybe we can stop him if you shot out his wheels. Don't let that asshole get away. You're gonna kill someone. Mm, no, I think this guy's gonna kill someone. All right, I give up. That's it. Cuff him and we're done. Show me your hands. We missed a major a component rap sound, of this. I, I hope that's not the end of the I mission. I just panicked, but also, his pocket fault. didn't render in. What do you mean? <laughs> the guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's oh no, it did. I could do about it. Why didn't you just look backwards? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Leave the coroner and the paperwork. Procedure can wait. You should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. Oh, never mind. We're good. I was like, you definitely have to go speak to the wife, and uh, we almost missed that. Or at least it seems like we almost missed it. Beautiful Los Angeles. And he's entering into the 415 possible metal case at 7th and Flower. We're going to pick that up on the way. There's something like 40 of these street crime cases. It's an easy way to get your rank up. Or at least help get your rank up, I guess. Ooh, slipped it. You love to see it. I would turn on the siren, but the siren is grating in my headphones. I don't really want to listen to that. I suppose for the real world analog of that siren, it is kind of supposed to be grating. It's doing its job. Oh, I knew I no, 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 no. I drove, and we're going to be all right. What movie we got here? The Lady from Shanghai? Orson Welles? That's a great one right there. Rita Hayworth. Beautiful. Anyway. Onward we move. There's a song playing in the background about smoking yourself to death on the cigarettes. This is car 11K. We'll handle the fourth. I am the police. You're the this one doesn't look promising. Cosmic rays into my room. I'll show you. Yes, sir. You're not going to control my thoughts anymore. I think that guy's Calm dead. Down, You'd like that, wouldn't you? Give it up, LAP. Onward we go. He went that way. Oh. Damn lunatic. No, no, no. I am a detective. He's a damn lunatic. Put your hands in the air. Yeah. 
Come on, we can get him. Don't make me chase He's quick. You. I'm already you are already chasing him. Think about that one for a second, Cole Phelps. You don't understand. Someone has to stop the Venusians. Don't want him to kick me in the head. Got to stop the Venusians. People from Venus aren't that bad. Farewell, cruel world. Oh, well. So much for apprehending the suspect unharmed. I guess it wasn't us that did it? Question mark? All right, well, there's that. And onward we move. Can't believe these people would honk at me like I'm driving poorly or maniacally, anything like that. I just can't fathom their reasoning. Let's go visit the wife, see why she's got this hefty life insurance policy put out on him. And hopes of a business venture with her favorite bar owner, or maybe her husband's favorite bar owner. Drive the wrong way for a second on a sidewalk. All is well. No one was harmed. Consummate professional at work here. one back here who knows oh it is the one back there okay we're parked on the street magically we've teleported all righty knock on this here door yes hello this is Patterson is this about my husband we're investigating the incident ma'am I see Come in, won't you? I, for one, would love to sit on this couch. Can you Maybe tell it's a me futon? what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here I beg I... your pardon? You're gonna have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Hmm. Well, well. Interesting. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. Damn, Stefan. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. Bullshit. You expect me to believe that, Mora? It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. 
You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were always arguing. So what? Admit it. You were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. Bullshit. You've got a fat life insurance policy on your husband who's now dead. Truth, you want to back that up, little man? I would love to, actually. You increased the premium on Lester's life insurance. GI insurance policies have a $10,000 payout. It was Leroy's idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting into fights, crap games, pinochle, you name it. Turns out it was good advice. It speaks to motive and premeditation, Lorna. You're forgetting the hit and run detective. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. I like Bukowski. As far as partners go in this game, I mean, you have a lot of really good ones, but I like him. Oh, wait, I need to... I feel like I need to check the phone. Just to make sure... Because I think you end up at the coroner's office for that knife. Let's see if they've got any update about it. Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? Messages for me, please. Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Thanks. I was right. See, I love those little details, like that camera. That camera, that street light. What the hell is a camera? I'm thinking of free camera, the way I could break it out of the fixed perspective. It's early. It's a holiday on a Monday. I'm allowed to have a little slip up with my words every once in a while, you know? Oh, you're all okay. You know, this isn't a tank, Phelps. Don't know what I hit there. I'm a unit that'll handle a 211 in progress. Back the other way. Kinda wish we had a faster car, but not the end of the world. Getting closer, I can feel it. What's playing at the Metro? Out of the Past and Lady from Shanghai. Out of the Past is a great movie. Robert Mitchum, Jacques Tourne. Fucked it. We need a new car. My going to kill you. Oh, shut up. The Los Angeles Police Department needs your car, sir. LAPD, police emergency. Well, I pay the city all these goddamn taxes and you need to take my car? That's correct. Bukowski said it wasn't a tank, but maybe they should buy us one, you know? God damn maniac! Almost fucked it again. <laughs> Is it in that alley back here, I guess? 
No, that's definitely not the alley it's in. I suppose it's around the corner then. Kid, drop that money one more time and you're a goner. Sorry, mister. It's just my hands are shaking. Shut up! Get the money in the bag! Yes. Yes, sir. Hurry the hell up, will you? Come on. It's goddamn cops! Careful! He's got a gun! Maybe you shouldn't have tried to rob a hotel there, man. Come on, let's steal a fast car. Come on, Bukowski, hurry the hell up. Got an achievement for an auto enthusiast, our fifth car. Come on, Bukowski, you've got a gun. Shoot at his tires. You're not doing much to help here, man. That cop's dead. All right, we're going inside. Get out of the way. I just hit that man in, with my car. And he is somehow still alive. Why did you go that way? You know, whatever. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. <laughs> Y'all could have been alive if you just didn't rob that hotel. Not very kind, I must say. Car 11K to KGPL. Bristol Hotel 211 is code 4. Units, be advised, code 4 at the Bristol Hotel on 8th Street. Code 4. Alrighty. We've got our car back. So I suppose now's a good time to just move on with the mission. You know, we might get there quicker if you use the cyber. Yeah, no, I'd rather live on the edge, Mikowski. What did I find? Oh, Angel's Flight. The little tram. Very nifty. Gotta love a tunnel section. Don't know why there's opposing lanes of traffic when there's two sides, but neither here nor there. Let's not launch off the side, or let's launch off the side. Oh, yeah. Way quicker. Way quicker. You see that? Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. It's the night entrance, Cole. It's like the middle of the day. Want another accommodation? We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was <laughs> stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. I laugh. of a bayonet. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. We have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. Let's bring her in. Snagged another achievement there. Follow Stab boy, right at Ray's follow. Cafe, find the bloodstained knife on your first sweep of the crime scene. We did it. Also, look at my car. Back in perfect shape. It's almost like I didn't just launch it off the top of the hill. Like I said earlier, consummate professional at work.
I don't know that we've been over in this part of Los Angeles yet. This is all fresh. You know I'm about to pick that one up. No, 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 no. I'm on the way to a crime scene. No, I don't have my siren on. And I'm not going to turn it on either. INS officer needs help. 333 South Main Street. 333 South Main Street. Officer needs help. 211. The shot's fired. Unit to handle code 3. What's the situation? Uh, we got a holdup gun sour. Three guns locked themselves in with two hostages. I tried to go on through the front, but the place is Ooh, a fortress. Odd man out. I nearly got a mouthful of Great lead movie. for my trouble. All right. I'll see if I can get it through the back. All right, I'll stay here and keep him busy. Let's go. Run back. Ran directly into that post, whatever it is. Seems like you'd want to be a little sneakier about this, you know? Now or I will use deadly force. Bukowski said fuck it, he just ran right in there. Good for him. Come on, let's get this guy. Pop your head back out. Stay down. Shot my damn hat off. Okay, you can't hit me from there. Apparently I can't hit this guy from here either. Got one. Somehow managed to not get two there. I got you, Phelps. Quick, up the stairs. Get after him. Can I take the shotgun? I'd prefer to have this, you know? Mm. Put the weapon down now. You fucking asshole. You fucking what? Can't hear you because you're dead. Car 11K. I've been involved in a shooting at 333 South Main Street. Globe loan and jewelry. It's code four now, but the suspect is down. I need an ambulance here. I notify my supervisor and the coroner. Roger on the ambulance and coroner. Your supervisor will be notified. <laughs> We've shot like six different people in the course of this seven hours. Ooh, the big sleep. Another great movie. Bogey and Bacall. Gotta love that. Good book, too. Raymond Chandler. Feel safe in a tank with you driving. No, you'd feel fine in a tank with me driving, Stefan Bukowski. Didn't hit anybody. Consummate professional. I keep saying it. One day y'all are gonna have to believe me. Don't think I needed to go this way. Oh, maybe I did, because it's on a hill. Can't go up that way. All right, we got to do a big circle here. I think we need a siren. No, nah, we're good. You would be incorrect, Stefan. Leave the thinking to me here. We took out a bench. Left and left and left and left again, and I'm right up your ass. Hey, that's one I haven't heard before. These are just a couple benches, you know? It's not that bad. I did it again. 
<laughs> Pull it into the alley. It teleports us to it. Bless its heart. He's spoken to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. He confirmed your husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy now? Mm, He's still in the accessory. Bedroom. You're very good, Lorna. Put the gun down, Leroy. If you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand jury. I see you to give me up, sweetheart. All that whispering in my ear telling me how he had to get rid of him, how good it could be, all the money we could claim, all that planning, how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, shut up. You have all the bases covered, baby. I have nothing to do, do with it. Do you think I'm going to fry for you, He's Lorna? He's a crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him. He's going to shoot her. Sake. Lo and behold. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> Hello, Cole. Don't get stuck on a sign. I'm running the wrong way, too. Sabo, stop or I will shoot. Oh, come on, man. Now you got to take somebody hostage? Why would you do that? You stay back. Why I would like you do this that? this one. I don't care. Put the weapon down now. Help me. I did just help you. You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. To wrap this bad boy up. So I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. How do we do? 9 9, 10 and 10. We uh, got some damages, to say the least. Four stars, you know? Not the end of the world. If I really want that five star achievement, we can come back. Fix it up later. On to the next case, though. Let's see what we got. Slip of the tongue. This is one of the DLC cases. Phelps, Kowski. B Cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. We're on it, Captain. I swear, the more bet cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. Keep Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Okay, can't go out that door. Type like you, Cole? I don't believe you. Get the hell out of my way. No, where are you going there, Phelps? That was weird. Hey there, buddy. Just hit and run a cop. Hit and ran. Careful! English is tough. are calling her the Dahlia now. Wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. You hear the brother, Blue Dahlia. Progress? It's a good Captain movie. Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Fourth 
terrible enough to be murdered like that without having to get strewn all over the front page. The Black Dahlia by James Elroy. Also, <clears throat> really good book. Not a very good movie. The adaptation from Brian De Palma is kind of bad, but Black Dahlia by James Elroy, great book, definitely worth reading. The Blue Dahlia from 1940, I think? Maybe 46? I don't remember. Great movie, though. I'll tell you that. That's the car, Cole. Just pulling out of the drive. Get him. Let's chase him down. Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. 1247, Detective Phelps requesting immediate backup in pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. We're not going to catch anything if Bukowski doesn't take out his gun and start firing. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Come on. Your door fucked up my car. You bozo. All right, all right. We've got an achievement. Nowhere in a hurry. Catch limit. and arrest. Clip Harrison before he's stopped by uniform Out backup. Got his ass. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Coombs Automotive Company. Like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. His car's back in great state. You purchased this oh, car great from state. Coombs Automotive Company. Yeah, that's right. And the ownership papers? From the same place. Interesting. This is a forgery. It's top notch. This will need to be traced. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No. Nothing like that. That doesn't sound very trustworthy. You better give us something. We're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because, because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. How much, Cliff? One reefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. <laughs> Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom three of three. Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. You gotta be kidding me. I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possessions as evidence and have him arraigned for Grand Theft Auto. Right, detective. Do you know who my father is? No, I don't. Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. No, I don't want his car. Just get in your own there, Cole. You know what? I think he's telling the truth. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. Paperwork all looked above board, and he seemed like a clean cut Above, bo above board, I above. You see some kid who's basically above board. five years ago and assume he's got I a like penis. that phrase. I'm more than happy to be proved wrong. Hey, if he'd been black or Hispanic, you'd be singing a different tune. You spout all this communist crap about treating everybody the same, but it only works one way. I'm not sure that's communism. Oh, God, please. Not another history lesson from the man who single-handedly won the war. Oh, unbelievable. Got Stefan to shut up. Are you finished? Yes. Never mind. I feel much better. We'll shake down the car dealer and take it from there. 
unless his daddy plays golf with yours, of course. In which case, we'll give him a firm gentleman's handshake and be on our way. See? I knew you weren't finished. Used cars. Coombs Automotive Company. $69 a month. That'd be nice. $69 is a video game now. Not another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. Detective Phelps, LAPD, are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white, boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Coombs. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. What a That's walk. A joke too, son. Mm. Phelps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. The Ministry of Silly Walks from Monty Python. Flying Circus. Sure I can't interest you in a nearly new car, son? I'm all but giving them away to servicemen and cops. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there, too. Gene Archer. 146 North Fremont Avenue. Oop, was there more to be seen there? I don't know why it de-renders like that. It's odd. There was. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit, at least. Which means he's out. Let that boy go smoke his wacky back, as he called it. Questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Sharp Did as a bag a of wet mice. All right. A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed, in a hurry to go somewhere but no place to go. You get to know the type. Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. It says Marquee Printing. You've never heard of them? Marquee. Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on Aliso Street near San Pedro. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? Close of play on Friday. Close of play is an interesting way to say end of day. Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. Did this Doubtful. look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bear bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Thanks for your help, Mr. Coombs. We need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. You have a pleasant day, Mr. Combs. Sharp as a bag of wet mice and sharp as a bowling ball. He's got some interesting well, allegories. The hook, but we can still run an allegories, APB analogs, on Gene whatever. Get on the horn and call it in. We'll hit this game well. That's the guy. 
Now here is an honest cop. Now there's an oxymoron for you. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. Are there any messages for me? A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thanks for your help. All right, well, before we go there, suppose we go check out this address that Gene Archer gave to us inadvertently. Here's a chicken and egg question for you. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? I've always got it in for car sales. It doesn't matter what day it is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart Ooh, look Maybe at the that. more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line just to get the hell out of there. And we got another green light there. Didn't hit anybody in that. Delightful. Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. We should go to the station, see what this Belasco guy has to say. I like the way you think. I love the palm trees set against the, uh, I think those are pine trees. They don't really look like pine trees in this game. I think I am that further unit there. Cut through here so we can avoid getting pulled into the police station. Ah, here we are. Shoo shoo bandits. What took you so long? They're getting away. What happened here, sir? They they had guns. Dirty louses took everything and then booked. They went that way, the, the, the stairs alongside the track. This doesn't seem like a great way to spend any of your day running up all these stairs. You look like a rat with a gold piece in the box. LAPD! Stop! I'm quicker than that, my friend. Car 11K. Shots fired. The suspect is down at 3rd and Hill. It's code 4 here, but I need an ambulance. 11K, roger on the ambulance. All units, the shooting at 3rd and Hill Street is code 4. Code 4. We are 20% done with those street crimes, so let's go and talk to James Velasco. Oh, you could have made that. Wow. My bad. <laughs> Detectives, Velasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit papers. Thanks. <laughs> Interview room two, right there. It's on the door. Door knocking all morning. Crummy bastard. The car in the end. Oh, all right. James <laughs> I want a lawyer. It's my car, and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. The Bronco. Can you give me a hand? I got a hard crease. I got a The paper is real enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. 
Goddamn captain's making me resubmit the paperwork. Nothing on the back. Where were you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm going to have the VA for the maximum. You're looking at ten years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking, and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Does the name Jean Archer mean anything to you? Nope. Never heard of her. Bullshit. You're a liar, James. Say that again. I'm telling the truth. I don't know the broad. So that's why you both have the same address printed on your pink slips. She's a mule for these stolen vehicles, genius. Same as you. Jesus. All right, I know her. Stupidest broad I ever met. Always cooking up crazy schemes. It's not very I don't know nice. why those guys use her. You happy now? What happens to the cars once they cross over the state lines? I don't know. I just deliver them. Give me something, Velasco, or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. How long do you think you'll last? Damn, Cole. Okay, okay. I hear you. The cars get sold in Chicago or back east. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. Where do you pick up the cars, Velasco? Warehouses. Mainly in East downtown. An address, Velasco. You want my help with the DA? Cough it up. Now. A place on Industrial Street. I don't know the number. You're gonna help me out, right? Keep talking, kid. We'll see what we can do. All right, James. We're gonna check if this information is worth anything. And if it is, I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll Break know 11. you're a man of your word. <clears throat> and so will the DA. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California, the Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street, near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightvall. Gordon Lightvall. Here, I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. Goddamn captain's making me resubmit the paperwork. I've heard that twice now. That guy's got to su resubmit. Suspect Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. We gotta run. What I was saying is that guy's got to resubmit a lot of paperwork. Must have really pissed off the captain. We're getting there. We're close. I'm assuming it's at the check cashing payday loan shop. LAPD. We'll take it from here. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. How about giving a girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. <laughs> Soliciting an officer. Call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. All right, let's do some interviewing here. The car here. you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. 
Gene, you've blown open the whole operation because you were dumb enough to try to sell one of the cars. What do you think they're going to do to you? Give me something. I was just doing what they do. They pay me 50 bucks to drive the car. I made two grand selling it. You made zero. And if they catch you, you're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? Oh boy. You're lying. James Belasco. I don't remember mentioning his first name, Miss Archer. Oh, I... Well, I think you did, didn't you? Well, I'm sure of it. Anyway, I don't know him. You aren't sharp enough to lie to me, Gene. You and James Belasco share the same address on your pink slips. We have him in a cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink slips are real. The home addresses are always vacant lots. Bigelow is always boasting that the paperwork is legit and that if we stick to our stories... And don't try and sell the car? Yeah, that too. <laughs> Tell me where you picked up the car, Miss Archer. Look, I, I can't remember. Let me go, will you? Please. What have I got to do? Trying my patience here, Gene. I'll have the reporters down here and have your picture in all the papers. You'll have nowhere to run. All right, already. I get the message. I pick up the cars from a guy named Bigelow. 58 Industrial Street. Big warehouse full of goons. Now you've got what you want. Can I go? No. Please? No, you sure can. To jail. You've got a car waiting outside for you. Got him. Some career advice, Jane. Well, got hurt. Get out of crime. Marry someone boring who has money and will find you captivating. Is this guy for real? He takes a little getting used to, but yeah, he generally means what he says. Sayonara, Gene. Enjoy your ride in the paddy wagon for half a mile. I could tell as soon as you walked in that Bim door, imbecile. He knows what he wants. Correct branch every question in the interview with Gene Archer. Alrighty. I'm gonna let him drive on you this drive. one. I need to go over the case notes. Let's go to Marquee Five. Printing Company, I think. Where are we headed? This guy must have escaped from the Looney Band. Get a new line. Friendly girl. Used to getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. And what is your type, Phelps? I'm married. I know that. But you're not blind or dead inside, are you? Wait. Scrap that second half of the question. Uh, I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah! The man is human after all. Now we're getting some. Yep. I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine, too. And there's nothing wrong with a good red. <laughs> but I oh, Stefan like Bukowski. You know what? I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a food market. A man with high standards. The standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. What if you get a really high price glass of whiskey? What then? Hop on Everybody side can I here. Do for you, gentlemen? I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Uh, have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. We'll keep it in mind. Let me interview this guy. For you, Mr. Lightball. Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightball. 
You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. Mmm. Oh, there it is. There it is. Harrison bought his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. Interesting. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightval? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Hand it over, Lightball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. Fine. Look for patterns, recurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. Wait. What about Bigelow? 58 Industrial Street. You certainly encourage repeat business, Lightball. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. All right, let's go see this fella Bigelow. What the hell's going on here? You crashed into me, man. You crashed into a parked car. Oh, I don't want Marky Printing Company. That's where we currently are. Wouldn't do us much good. Back in the days of static clouds and Rockstar games, Red Dead Redemption 2 really gave us so much with its volumetric clouds and ooh, the environments in those games. I want to replay it, but don't know that I'm emotionally ready to replay it. And if you've played it, you know what I'm talking about. I do want to replay the first Red Dead Redemption, though. Now that it's on PC, and with the 15th anniversary coming up, might be a good time. Can run through Undead Nightmare while we're at it. But I am certainly going to wait for it to go on sale, because I think it's $50. Watch what you're doing! Man. I was really hoping that I could slip through there, but can't win them all. Made it. Didn't even kill anybody. I think we should call for a couple of black and whites. Get Fleischer down here. I thought you Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45. Don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. That was unnecessary to jump over that box. I mean, I respect it, but it was unnecessary. Cole Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. Did I get anybody? I don't think I did. Damn. That's tough. Got shot in the face. You got killed by getting shot in the hand. Mm, that's not an explosive barrel. Just thinking wishfully.
Where's this last guy at? Oh, last two. Excuse me. Got one left. Who do we got? Oh, no, never mind. There's more above. I think we got them all. I heard something. Maybe not. Give me that. Hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. Hmm. Interesting. Let's look around. We got something for Marquee Printing Company here. Marquee Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing Ooh. like going Excuse direct me. to the source. These lottery tickets? Santa Anita, it's horse racing. Betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. What have we got over here? There are enough slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I do work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. Battle of Bulge. We know about Marquee Printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. There are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more. Oh, there's definitely more than four. For paperwork, you'd be doing the legal system a favor. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Lightfall, the guy who runs Marquis. He's the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes people. Lightfall, the guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. One of the guys lying over there. You're right. He has no luck. Well, that's a damn lie. That's the best lie you can come up with, Bigelow? Hey, would I lie to you, detective? I'm not exactly in a good position here now, am I? Gordon Lightball owns Marquee Printing, a government print shop. He's losing big at the track. He has these big government contracts. He's in Hawk over 20 grand. If the feds find out, the contracts will be all over. Lightfall plays ball. All right, Bigelow. The heat is off you. Play your cards right, and you'll be able to count your time in Quentin on one hand. I just want my hat back. That guy on the radio just say Los Angeles. Drive me, Bukowski. You're the wheel. All right, where to? I swear. What a mess. Ugh. Gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, they shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the bare-faced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and pleads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. The guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed. It's always one of the two that brings them down. Well, don't crash the damn car there, Bukowski. Good lord. Alright, Lightval. 
Let's chat. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightball. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Save it, Lightball. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. How about your gambling debts there, friendo? You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightball. I agree. I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. Switched I up his tune quick. I need to shut up now, Lightball. Gordon Lightball, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. Get him, Cole. The LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will Hey, Bukowski was there, too. I want to finish reading this. Eighteen, eighteen, twenty-one to twenty-one. I don't think we got the five star. We got a four star. That's all right. But I think we're gonna wrap it up here today. If you're new to the channel, or if you're returning, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know how you're enjoying this LA Noir playthrough. I'd love to keep going with it. So I want to know how you guys are feeling about it. Let me know of anything else that's similar to these games. I'm thinking. Chinatown Detective Agency, maybe. Or, oh, I just blanked on the name of the other one. But there's another game that, Shadow of the Doubt? Shadow of a Doubt, I think is what it's called. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know some other things you'd like to see on the channel. And uh, let me know how you feel about Stefan Bukowski. You think he's a good partner? I think he's a good partner. But drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, drop a subscription. I'd love to have you along for the journey as we cruise towards 100 subscribers here on the channel. And we will be back on the next video to wrap up the traffic desk. And I think after that, move on to homicide, which will be interesting. I got to look up if I need to edit any of the videos because uh, there's a lot of nudity in those cases. But it's not the focus. I got to look up if the YouTube TOS is similar to the Twitch one in that case. But we'll go from there. But that'll be in the next video. So thanks, everybody, for checking it out today. Y'all take care. Have a great day whenever you're watching this, and I will see you in the next one. Moose out.